Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you with a road radar and snow forecast and reports update going on right now as we head through mid-morning. Here's a look at what's going on on that radar. Zooming in, we see the heavier band down here near the South Dakota line. Most of the heavier snow in South Dakota, the Red River Valley picking up. As we put the time on here, you can see this is as we head into the 10 o'clock hour. Some snow reports coming in from the west. Five and a half inches reported in and around the Minot area. Three uh, to five inches reported at Kenmere as well. Dickinson, north of town, five and a half inches of snow fell there. Snow wrapping up in western North Dakota, five inches there. And we do have some road conditions to uh, share with you. A new travel alert and a toppled semi ca causing issues on I-94 as well. Down near the border, starting out, just getting going to inches at Foreman and as we look off to the west of Aberdeen about three inches there and a report in the Bismarck area of five and a half inches or so as well. Here's a band of heavier snow making its way just now getting rolling in parts of Minnesota. It'll take a while for things to start accumulating. Still rain showing up though as we look into areas near Ottertail County and Fergus Falls. Road reports and conditions brought to you by my friends at OK Tire. Let's start with North Dakota. Here's a look at the travel advisories. The no travel advisory has been dropped for the northwestern zone. Things are improving there, although the yellow indicating snow-covered and ice-covered roads. The purple, snow-covered roads across much of the region, and the purple counties you see highlighted here, a travel alert. Things are getting icy and dicey. Please slow it down. Don't end up in the ditch. Remember, this is the first snow event, and it's a pretty big one for this area as we are well into the month of November now. So keep that in mind. We do have some rough and tumble travel conditions out there. Here is a quick peek at a DOT camera. Let's go Interstate 94. Let's go Jamestown. Here we go. Snow on the interstate. Icy surface there showing up on the DOT camera in that area. Going up north. Let's go up towards the uh, Glenfield area. We're seeing a little bit of snow on the road there. How about New Rockford area? Plenty of snow on the road side, but the road surface looking okay. And then going down to where things are a little heavier down here in that uh, South Dakota, North Dakota border area. Check it out. Big time snow, big time slush on the road, and it looks like it's getting a little on the icy side there as well. An update for South Dakota drivers. We do have a no travel advisory that was issued in the north central part of the state. Let's get in and take a look at that. Mobridge zone. See all the red that you see there? That is a no travel advisory here. Basically, we're talking about areas from McLaughlin right through Mowbridge here on the Lake Oahe, right? And as you go up to the north here, as we uh, jump into the, uh, uh, well, the Kennel District, as well as areas south of the Little Eagle District out there. Anyways, this area, no travel is advised. Let's take a look at a camera on the edge. Here's McLaughlin area on the Highway 12 corridor. A lot of wind, a lot of snow going through there. And the snow is continuing, but it will be ending in your area in the next few hours here, two to three hours. Harriet, we got some big time snow and some of the heaviest snow making its way through. That's blinding near zero visibility in places out there in the Harriet area. Going off to the east, we are still starting to get some uh, intense snowfall returns. There's the North Dakota, South Dakota border, not far from you folks in Ellendale. And again, very difficult visibility, but we are seeing some evidence that the road, well, you can kind of see the trail going through the road there. Very thick, heavy snow, slushy, and becoming icy with a temperature of 29 degrees. As we go towards Aberdeen, off to the east of Aberdeen, this is what it looks like on Highway 12 out there. We got some slippery road travel going on there. So parts of eastern South Dakota starting to see impacts. And here's I-29 at the South Dakota border. Uh, more clear are the road surfaces here, but things really getting going there at the Victor area. So that's a look at road conditions right now. If we take you to Minnesota, you'll see the impacts are just getting going as we head into the midday hour. The blue meaning some partially covered roads here. And this area that's highlighted is the winter storm warning that is in effect. All right, how about snowfall reports? Head over to HutchesWeather.com with you and I'll show you snowfall reports that have come in from Montana and parts of the area. Now, it's easy to find on Hutch's Weather right at the top of the page, snow amounts. If you click on that puppy up there, it's going to take you to the snowfall amounts that have been reported so far over the last 24 hours. Now, out in western North Dakota, this is where I'm getting the five and a half in Bismarck. We did have, excuse me, two and a half reported there. And then as we go up towards Minot, rather, we have a couple of different reports there. The uh, larger report, five and a half inches on the north side of town, three and a half inches in the uh, central part of town. Uh, both reports coming in at around that 8 a.m. time frame out there. So say in the average, somewhere between three to five and a half inches 
of snow out in that zone. Now, as we look out toward the west, here is that Watford City area, one mile uh, either side, about five and a half inches reported there. So the peak amounts we're seeing here, five to five and a half inches across the west. And we already have a one inch report down here near Ashley where the heavier bands are and continuing to snow. We have that two inch report right now in the Foreman area. Hard to measure the snow uh, at this particular stage as we're just getting going, looking at the mountains of Montana, 15 inches out there by Hart Butte in the last 24 hours as this storm system is just taking hold. So that, again, available on hunchesweather.com by clicking on the snow amounts tab allows you to per per peruse where the snow is. I'll have updates throughout the day. Travel with care. And know this, the snowfall forecast is still looking spot on. Here is a look at Hutch's track. Uh, I do think it's sliding just a little bit south of this with the heavier pink band likely going to set up shop south along and south of Interstate 94. Fargo will definitely be in the three to five inch window the way it's looking right now with areas just south of us that are going to see even higher amounts, probably in that five to eight inch range. That does include Southern Otter Tail County, the Brainerd Lakes area, Little Falls and off towards Duluth. Isolated 10 inch totals will be a probability in parts of Minnesota. I'll keep you updated right here and we'll see you a little bit later. This Thanksgiving, if the family starts arguing about who ruined the stuffing, just quietly grab the remote, turn on Hutch's weather, and say, shh, I need to hear this part. I'll give you 90 seconds of peace. Maybe more if there's a storm. From all of us at Hutch's weather, happy Thanksgiving and good luck around that table. Hey!